Inside a mosque on the grounds of Tehran University, devout students are arriving for their weekly night of poetry reading. The men know to sit at one end of the room, while the young women gather demurely at the other end. The two groups barely address each other. They're here to recite spiritual poems they've written themselves about divine love. Next door, a kind of holy man reads people's fortunes over the telephone by consulting the Quran. He's a celebrity in Iran, and he's often commissioned to sing religious lamentations at high-profile ceremonies sponsored by the state. These are important businessmen who have come to see him today. On the surface, these poems are addressed to the Messiah of Shia Islam. But divine poetry in Iranian culture is equally about earthly love. And it's all in stark contrast to the celestially inspired business advice that this man is offering in a place of worship. <laughs> the meeting of religion and business is a controversial issue and rarely spoken about in public. But business deals are informally conducted all the time inside Iran's mosques. The tradition helps religion, commerce and the state cement their allegiances. The fortune teller joins the poetry group next door. He recites a heartfelt poem beseeching his messiah to finally appear. <laughs> Hey. 